For the very latest news from Thailand, this is the Fabulous Patia Media Group. If you could like and subscribe, well, that would be amazing. Thank you so much. After 10 years on the run from police, the wife of one of the main players in the U Fund scam, which duped thousands here into investing in fake funds, has been arrested. The 10 billion baht scam was closed down a decade ago, but saw the main organisers flee ahead of arrest. With 164 others actually arrested at the time, it was revealed that the pyramid scam offered herbal remedies along with a scam cryptocurrency which saw thousands more robbed of savings. In Patam Thani, police arrested a vile excuse of a human being, a British expat teacher who's accused of abusing young teen students in an international school where he was employed. Other teachers heard children discussing his acts on at least four minor females and police were called. He is said to have admitted his crime and is unlikely to receive leniency. The fee-paying school didn't hesitate to report the incidents and other students are currently being questioned to establish the extent of his crimes. The British Embassy has been informed that he's out of luck if he expects any relief, as their remit is only to ensure that anyone arrested receives the same treatment as a local national would receive. Trat authorities, the province adjacent to Koh Chang, have reported that the wreckage of a speed ferry saw marine teams rescuing passengers and crew after it struck a reef. Found floating in the ocean, tired and scared, their saving was due to the vessel at least having the required number of life jackets. Tourists who relished the idea of an automated immigration kiosk system in Bangkok's main airport were disappointed yesterday as technicians were called in to try and recover the system which crashed. The new system, which saves time, reduces queues and staffing, instead caused chaos, along with a quick search for additional staff to step back in and man the old booths. The network, we're told, will be back in use within days, and it's hoped that the programming will be improved too. Meanwhile at home, and as the saga of the poser and his lion continue to hit the headlines... That's the chap who regularly cruised the streets in a convertible with a fully grown lion aside him. Yet another different case has been reported as a Huayai woman was caught coaxing her two lions back into her property after security gates failed and allowed them to roam the streets. The mere idea that kings of the jungle, or in this case queens, are allowed to be owned in insecure environments has raised eyebrows in Parliament. In this case, the woman claims that she reared them from cubs and even went on to state that they were part of the local community. The locals within the community, however, have a difference of opinion. And Banglamong officials, along with police, have raided at least one group of street vendors selling marijuana on the streets from a market-style stall. Unlicensed and breaking numerous in-effect laws regarding ganja sales, it's expected that other vendors will be arrested too, as the city comes down on marijuana businesses. And with the Met Office promising highs today and over the weekend of just around 30 degrees, dropping down to 23, but with the real feel of 32, with wind at times, but otherwise sunny, but with a haze. Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or programme, like and subscribe to our channel. Fabulous Patia Media Group by using the link below.